Hello everyone. In this video we're going to learn about using the guide layout feature in Photoshop CC. Previously, to create a guide layout like what I have here, we had to create them by manually dragging all the guides from the rulers or using add-ons like Gridify to create an automatic layout. Adobe has now incorporated that automatic feature right into the software. To access the guide layout option, Go up to the view menu at the top of the screen and choose new guide layout. You'll see the guide layout box pop up. Note this is only available in Photoshop CC so you won't be able to find this in older versions of Photoshop. Guide layouts allow us to easily add any number of rows and columns to our layout. We can specify an exact width for the columns or an exact height for the rows. We can also add a gutter between the guides and add margins along the outside of the document. If you haven't used this feature before, the box will be populated with the default settings of eight columns, each separated by a 20 pixel gutter. This is the layout we're looking at right now with the addition of the guides that I just pulled out a minute ago. You can add guides to the ones you already have in your document, or you can clear the existing guides and only add new ones. This is done by checking the little box in the lower right. Now let's add some columns. We'll clear out the other numbers and just start with three columns so we can easily see what's happening. You can now see that the document has been divided into three equal columns. If you don't see the updated layout, make sure that the preview box on the right is checked. The space between the columns and rows is called the gutter. By default, Photoshop sets a 20 pixel gutter. You can change this to anything you need it to be. For instance, if you need a document with four columns that each have 10 pixels of space between them, you can easily do that with the gutter spacing. When you make your columns, by default, Photoshop will create equally spaced columns across the document. But we can set the width ourselves if we need to by entering a value in the width field. Let's change the width to 200. Now you can see that we have three columns that are 200 pixels wide starting from the left side of the document. If we don't want them all on the left, we can center the columns to the middle of the document by checking the center columns box in the lower left. Now let's add some rows. We can add rows in the same way as columns. First, check the rows box, and then add the number of rows, height, and gutter. We'll just do three rows, and then clear the width from our columns. And we're left with a 3 by 3 grid. And then let's add some margins to our layout. To add margins around the edges of the document, first select the margin option to enable it. Then enter the amount of space you want to add in each box for top, left, bottom, and right. Let's add 50 pixels to each. Now we can see that we have our grid with 50 pixels of space around the edges. Negative values could also be used if you needed to to set the guides outside the document bounds. Now if you have a layout that you've set up and you know you're going to need to use it often, or even just more than once, you can save it as a preset. For instance, I have a layout saved here that adds guides to the edges and centers of the document. To save a custom preset, we just need to click on the Preset drop-down and select Save Preset. A window will pop up for you to choose where the preset will be saved, uh, name the preset, and then click the Save button. The new preset is now in the drop down list. And that's all there is to using the guide layout feature in Photoshop CC. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. See you again in the next video.